Are you having trouble connecting to the internet? Does your computer say no internet connection? Are all or some of your devices offline? Maybe your IoT devices or your gaming console or one of your TVs? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, you might need a What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So if you've ever had any issues with your network going down, or maybe a computer not getting an internet connection, then you may need one of these. This is a network cable tester. And today I'm gonna to talk about why you may need one of these and how they work. And at the end of the video, I'll recommend a few of these that fit different budgets. So first, what is a network cable tester? A network cable tester is a device used to test voice, data, and video. And there are a multitude of these kinds of devices, even including fiber testing. But today's focus is gonna be on your network cables, RJ45 connectors, Cat5e, or Cat6. And for today's example, we're gonna be using the Scout Pro. This is the VDV Scout Pro 2. And VDV stands for Voice, Data, and Video. And this particular cable tester has three different inputs, an RJ11 connection, a coax connection, and RJ45. We're not gonna focus on the RJ11 because our house has no phone lines. And we're not gonna focus on coax either because once again, we have no coax. Well, take that back, we do have coax, but we don't use it. And if you've watched my channel, you've seen my video, why I ditched cable for fiber. So we have no coax to test. But today we're focusing on the RJ45 connections. So going back to my original question, have you had an issue with no internet connection? One of the best ways to solve this problem is to determine if a cable is bad or a connection is bad. And the network cable tester is a great way to find bad connections. All right, let me explain how this works. For an example, we're gonna test this cable line. You simply plug in one end of the cable into the tester, pull this one out, and plug it into the other end. We'll turn this on, and we'll hit test. You can see all the numbers here, they all correlate to the wires inside the cable, because ethernet cables have eight wires. And these five ethernet plugs and five coax plugs can be used to map an unknown network, meaning you don't know where the wires go. So if you have five different data ports in your house, plug all five connectors in and take note of each number for each room. Then go to your network panel and connect the ProScout 2 to one of the wires. It will then give you a number which maps the location. Then rinse and repeat until you've mapped your entire home network. You can do the same with a coax as well. So if you believe that your internet connection is bad from a faulty wire, this is a valuable tool to find that out. And the ProScout 2 is around $99. My recommendation though is to get the ProScout 3, which is about $125. And the reason why I recommend this is that it's a little bit bigger and has a backlight. Also, the ProScout 3 will test length of cable. If you plug this in here, and you plug it in here, you turn it on and test it, it will tell you how many feet this is. Pretty cool. Also, if the cable is bad, it will tell you the location within the cable, how many feet. So if there's a break in the cable three feet in, it will tell you three feet. Pretty cool. But if you're on a budget, the ProScout 2 is great for 99 bucks. But for my recommendation, the ProScout 3 is the top choice. And just a heads up, the battery life on these are incredible. Right now, I have a low battery, but this battery's been in here for about three years. Not bad. Like I said before, this is a valuable tool that tests for voice, data, and video. It's got fantastic battery life. It's very portable, not too big, and can make your life much easier if you're a network cable technician. I can't count how many times I've terminated an RJ45 connection, and I thought it was good, but I plug it in here, and it was bad. So guys, I recommend the ProScout 3 or the ProScout 2. And of course, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy these. I'll also have a link to some cheaper cable testers, probably around the $50 range. So if you're on a tight budget, then those will do. But if you have some money to spend, get the ProScout 3, you won't be sorry. Well guys, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And guys, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it. And of course, hit subscribe, it's free. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.